PDC stands for Small Business Development Center, and we are part of the University of uh, West Florida College of Business. Go Argos, I think somebody said. Before I get started, I have to say, not that she needs my approval, but Donna Bluger knows what she's talking about. Everything she said is correct. We meet with people all the time. And business owners who are not planning for the future or for a downturn, things like that. So let's talk to you about, first, some things that have happened over the long term. But before we get into that, uh, some of our partners here. Uh, anybody here from Sonovus Bank today? Uh, yes. They are our banking partner. We do work with a lot of other banks, but they're our primary partner. We actually have an office in Fort Walton Beach inside the Sonovus. And then I know you guys have know Dave Hoxing and Mary Hoxing. I know uh, Cat Country. Uh, they do a lot of promotions for us and a great partner to us. Uh, what does the SBDC do? First off, we are uh, the state's designated state of Florida's principal provider of business assistance services by statute, and you can see our mission there. But in a nutshell, basically what we do is we're a government agency funded by the Small Business Administration, by the Defense Logistics Agency, and the state of Florida, and of course UWF, and what we do is deliver no-cost consulting services and training services throughout our 10-county region to business owners and people who are seeking or are considering opening a business. Uh, small business is, or the term small business is a little bit misleading. Uh, we'll work with basically any business unless your name is Walmart or Gulf Power or something like that. We can, we can work with you. Typically under 500 employees, so we do work with manufacturing facilities, doctor's offices. Anybody in here physician? Good, because they're terrible at, uh, <laughs> at business use. <laughs> you can tell them I said industry. Um, so here is our network of partners. Uh, what you may not know is that the, the SBDC for the state of Florida's headquarters is actually located here at UWS. So 43 years ago when the program started, some professor wrote the grant, and they got the grant, and at first, I think of seven regions throughout the country is actually at UWF, but it's actually at Air Eglin Air Force Base, believe it or not. Uh, it has grown to around 250 employees. I run the uh, region, which you see, well, I think I've got, yeah, which you see right here, which is basically Pensacola to Port St. Joe to Mariana and everything in between the central time zone. And Mike Myrie, who is our state director, uh, is also part of UWF and his team. But we have several partner universities that deliver the same services that we do. There are uh, other agencies throughout the nation that does this and also Puerto Rico. Uh, and so just to tell you a little bit about our region, and uh, I, I started to put the slide up of the, of the ribbon cutting, but when I started here about five years ago, um, we had an additional state appropriation, which helped our, uh, our funding out quite a bit. But when I started here, we had the office at UWF, and we had an office at the Emerald Coast campus in Fort Walton Beach. And since then, we've grown from about 10 employees to soon to be 20 employees. And one of the first uh, outreach locations or additional offices that we opened was at the Greater Pensacola Chamber. Um, I'm sure most of you remember the Greater Pensacola Chamber on Garden Street, the old white building. Now they're downtown at Palafox Pier. Great place. If you've not been inside the chamber, come check it out. They provide me with a really cool office. I do pay rent though, but uh, they do provide me with a pretty cool office down there. Uh, and that was actually uh, happened because of uh, the 14, April 14 flood. Anybody affected by the April 14 flood? Supposedly more water hit Pensacola than any hurricane at that time. And so uh, we did a lot of uh, disaster loans with the SBA and with the state of Florida. And we were in one of our MAC units, the big RV behind the chamber, because that was more convenient than people driving all the way up to UWF. And Jerry Maygarden said, hey, we've got some office space. Why don't y'all come in here? We don't have any carpet because our place got flooded. Anyway, that started. And then since then, we've blossomed quite a bit. Our goal is to make it to where people don't have to drive an hour or two hours to get our services. So now, we have uh, outreach locations at the Gulf Breeze Chamber, Navarre Chamber, Santa Rosa County EDO office in Milton, and you can see the rest there. Uh, my goal is to actually at some point uh, open a office down in Port St. Joe, uh, because that's a long ways from Pensacola. So that's what we have going on. Just to give you a quick five-year review, 
before I get into reminding you about our services, one of the things that we did, and this is one of many, I couldn't, I, you, we'd have all day if we told you everything that we did, and some of it we can't tell you because of confidentiality, but um, 2013, we helped Carmen's Lunch Bar win the Pensacola Business Challenge. Anybody know Carmen's down there? Pensacola Business Challenge, I believe it, that was before my time, I believe that was a Studer thing that he put on. 2014, we worked with East Hill Academy to um, obtain some into Impact 100 funding. I'm sure you've heard of Impact 100. Uh, 2014, they had the Innovation Awards out at the beach. We actually assisted more than the top three, but the top three that we worked with uh, all uh, were clients of ours and uh, earned some big prizes at the Innovation Awards, if you remember that. Of course, we did the April 14th flood. Uh, in 2015, we added six counties around Panama City to our area. Created a lot more work and travel for me, but it's been great. And 2016, we did the Veterans Florida Entrepreneurship Program as part of UWF. We were kind of the hired guns to do the teaching for that program. And in 2016, worked with Cognitive Big Data Systems. Anybody in here know Lloyd Richard, Cognitive Big Data Systems? Uh, and he won the Cox Business Pitch Competition, which was in conjunction with Entrecon. 2016, worked with Jupiter Composites. So y'all seen these these uh, things right here? Uh, I don't even, I think they're called nacelles. You see them, you have to go around them when they're driving down the road. Uh, we worked with them and some of our advice helped them uh, get uh, 150 new jobs there, which I, we thought was really cool. And 2017, we launched, launched the SBM program. We're really great at marketing, I guess. SBM stands for Small Business Management. We probably need to come up with a better name for the program, but Glenn runs that program. Glenn, if you'll wave at everybody, if you don't know Glenn already. Uh, we're on year three of that program, and basically what that program is is a nine-month, uh, really intense program where he meets with you one-on-one, -on -one, but you also do training once a month, and it's basically to help you get from A to B. I wanna, I wanna grow my business, I wanna work on my business, not in my business, and he will definitely hold you accountable uh, to reaching those goals, so definitely a good program there. I'm sure most of you remember Hurricane Michael. We didn't know where that thing was gonna go. It ended up hitting the far end of our territory, so literally, Everyone on my staff of 18 people at that time were living in somewhere around Panama City. I spent three months in Port St. Joe and uh, we did a lot of disaster loans. I'll give you the figures here in just a second, but that was no fun at all. But the most worthwhile work that we've done uh, since I've been here has been helping people get disaster loans, SBA loans, state of Florida loans. Uh, to get their businesses up and running and really saving their business. It, it was really, really good. So these are, this is the team. Uh, all these people work very hard with Hurricane Michael. You can see Glenn down there at the bottom and uh, myself in one of the tents over there on the far end. Uh, we worked in some pretty unique conditions uh, and it rained quite a bit after the hurricane too. So we were in tents and, and you had to keep your equipment off the ground because the water was getting in the tent. Uh, but again, very worthwhile work, and I'll tell you in just a second what all we did there. Some of the recent things that have happened at the SBDC that I want to share with you. Dorian uh, Zverevich uh, was promoted to our associate director. Um, he's actually located in our office inside the Greater Pensacola Chamber. So if you need help, if you have a business, you need help with accounting, you need help with marketing, you need help with government contracting, whatever it may be, all you gotta do is go to the Greater Pensacola Chamber and we will help you out or you can go to any of our other offices as well and we're happy to help you. The reason I list these people here is that we've added a lot of talent to our roster. A lot of good people with a lot of good experience. They have experience, we train them even more. Uh, a lot of these people have owned businesses before and uh, we've got a very good crew, we've developed a good crew. And you know, if you ask people five years ago, what, who, was that, who are the SBDC, a lot of people couldn't tell you, but they had about four consultants for four counties. Well, that doesn't go very far. And so now we have 10 consultants that just work in Escambia and Santa Rosa County. Uh, and then of course we have consultants all throughout the 10 county region. So we have got, because that's what we are. We're, we have people with expertise that can help you. And that, you know, we get, Donna, we get a lot of people that say, well, you know, I really can't afford a CPA, you can't afford not to have a CPA. And we'll be the first people to tell you that. If you can't afford a CPA, don't start your business. Um, 
and, and they'll help you to get to wherever you need to go. And so certainly we will help you. We work very closely with CPAs and banks and attorneys and different people, depending on what your, uh, what your needs are. Obviously the chambers of commerce as well. So we do work with people who want to start a business. First off is, is your business idea feasible in the first place? We'll help you maximize whether or not your business, uh, uh, concept is feasible. We'll go through that process. What, you know, what is your location decision need to be? Uh, how much equipment do you need to buy? Do you need to rent or lease a building? So on and so forth. We can take you through that. You know, what is your target market? Everybody says, Oh, my target market's everybody. No, it's not. You have a target market. You just don't know. We can help you refine that. We do work, do considerable amount of work with small and medium business enterprises, which are existing businesses that want to grow to the next level. You might think, well, I don't really think there's anything that the SBDC can do for me. Number one, you're already paying for it out of your tax dollars. So give us a call and let us know, see if we can help you. And if we say, well, we can't help you. You need to call Donna, you know, we'll, we'll do that. But, uh, we, you know, we'll, we definitely, I think it can provide a lot of, of value for you. We also do business valuation. So if you want to buy or sell a business, uh, we can help you determine if you, what you're uh, going to pay is the right amount or if you're selling it. Cause you know, if you're buying it, you don't want to pay much for it. If you're selling it, it's worth, you know, uh, the Biltmore state, whatever that's worth or something. But so you want to make sure that, uh, you're on target with what, uh, what it is actually worth. So these are some of the things that we do, financial and cash flow analysis. Uh, we can help do financial projections for you if you're wanting to go get a bank loan or not to start a business, marketing, sales, e-marketing, social media marketing, we have experts in all that, government contracting, uh, PTAC, um, and we're actually planning on partnering with uh, Anglin and the group back there to help promote a lot of the things that they're doing because they have some very good uh, things related to government contracting and, and all kinds of stuff. So uh, definitely hope want to share that as well because that's also helpful to our clients. Uh, business planning, loan packaging. If you go in and you uh, do provide a business plan to somebody, to the to the banker, you know, to Snobus Bank, and that you say, well, I think my sales are going to be two million dollars, you know, uh, a year. The first question the bank's going to ask is, why do you think that? Well, we have access to a lot of research that can show that. Okay, um, out of a sample of 5,000 tire stores in the state of Florida, these are their average sales, this is their average cost of goods sold. So we have access to a lot of data that can back up projections and things like that as well. Human resources, that's actually my background, and so we can help you with, do you have the right labor law posters? Do you have a handbook? Do you have job descriptions? Do you need them? Uh, and, and how thorough, you know, make sure that they're thorough and all that good stuff. We can help you with those things. Everything I'm talking about is no cost, business valuations, and of course, business startups. Business startups, kind of the easy stuff. We can do that. We can help you determine uh, if your business, you know, uh, needs to start and how much money you're going to make. Is it going to meet your lifestyle requirements and uh, things like that. Oops. I uh, already mentioned the SBM program that Glenn does. I encourage you to talk to Glenn. If you think it might be something that would work for your company, we have some people in this room I know have gone through the SPM program, and uh, I hope they really enjoyed it. I think they did. And uh, it, it, we've had a lot of good feedback from that one as well. Uh, the Florida Small Business Emergency Bridge Loan, which we just did for Hurricane Michael, we helped with over $21 million in quick cash loans from the state of Florida, which is not a whole lot of money, but it's just mainly $50,000 loans for businesses until they get the big SBA loan or something like that. It's basically a gap loan, a cash flow loan. Uh, and then we just recently wrapped up uh, bridge loans for the agriculture businesses and the state was doing about $250,000 to pop on those. And we did quite a few of those as well. Uh, just some stats here and then I won't bore you too much longer. Um, we did see about 1300 clients last year, 15,000 consulting hours and did about tra 82 training events several of which we did do inside the Greater Pensacola Chamber. And uh, just some of the economic impact you can see there, sales increase of our clients in one year, 54 million, $92 million in government contracts in uh, 2018, and uh, client capital formation of, uh, it's supposed to be 13.6 million, 74% uh, of that was bank loans. And so a lot of impact you can see there, uh, and that's, not bad considering three of those months we were 
in a in a, a, a tent doing a bridge loans that probably helped our loan numbers but hurt for example our business start numbers so just some fun events that we've had here we do small business night with the blue wahoos if you didn't know anything about that uh, you can see some of our clients there trek bicycles blues angel music uh what else we have going on there just a lot of fun stuff uh, our partners at the uh, navarre chamber there and then of course i can't say enough the great greater Pensacola chamber i think we have a really good relationship with with the chamber and uh, it's worked well and i've actually got to schedule somebody to come and talk to y'all uh, that i, I think is going to be a new chamber member i'll tell you about their business idea keep that secret right now um, <laughs> some of our clients uh, you, if you haven't heard of ProClean, you've probably been under a rock. ProClean is one of our long-term clients. Uh, Cat Country. Anybody seen that sign down there? I for art. Don't say it too fast. Anybody get that? I remember when Dr. Trez was, I was like, oh, don't do that. But it's great. Okay. Uh, Cat Country, uh, that's L30 uh, on the far end. So you've seen the orange cones on Highway 29 and on all over the place that's the people that put out the the cones the traffic control people what about this one right here anybody seen a man drone before you haven't because i think that's the only one there may be another one out there now but that's our client over in uh, panama city and it's actually a man drone they know it'll go up to 100 feet they can't go any further than that because of faa rules and uh, that's the guy who designed it his daughter you can go on youtube and She's flying all over the place in that thing, and they actually recently won a Boeing competition for a million dollars. So need clients, we do anything and everything, uh, any kind of industry that we work with. Um, the only thing that we cannot do, the cannabis guy, where'd he go? Yeah, <laughs> but federally we can't work with, uh, with that, but I think that will change uh, at some point. But, um, uh, and, you know, there are a few industries that we're not allowed to work with under federal guidelines, but pretty much, everything uh, else we can do. I guess, any, any questions at this point? I think that, oh, I forgot about this. We also earned uh, for the state of Florida this last year, the Region of the Year Award, which is the first time we won that since I've been here at least. And Adam McCloskey, my associate director in Fort Walton Beach, earned the Florida State Star Award, which is the highest award that you can get at the state level. Uh, so some pretty good things there. Upcoming training events here. You can look at our website. I've got some uh, flyers should be on the table So I have a few more with me if you didn't get one and uh, a lot of the trainings that we do are at uh, The chamber at San Rosa County EDO office Sonova. So we do a lot of starting a business workshops because that's obviously what people are interested in but a lot of government contracting uh, SBM program uh, this uh, let's see, on the 15th, we're doing negotiating, which is a great program. Unfortunately, we're not offering that one to the public this year. We were going to have to do that because it's a great program if you don't know how to negotiate. Matter of fact, I will tell you that Glenn has done that to me before. He's like, well, we have this option or we have this option. I'm like, I know he's setting the decision criteria for me. He don't think I know it, but I think I've probably fallen for it a lot too. <laughs> I pay attention but. Uh, he, it's a really good class, but also on the 19th of September, we're doing as part of the SBM program, a digital marketing three hour session. That one will be open to the public. So if you think you might be interested, uh, go on our website and sign up. Uh, be happy to have you. And here's our contact information. Again, my name is Kelly Massey and uh, we're just happy to be here. And thanks Todd for allowing us to come and talk today. Any questions? All right, thank you.